Hello everyone. I am Vonlegaia, and I won't talk like until this guy stops. To the mystic light. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I'm Von Legaia, and with me is Digit. Yes. And, uh, and I didn't talk until the guy stopped. <laughs> today we play Amnesia: The Dark Descent Blind. And you can tell Von's starting to freak out because the videos just keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. <laughs> What's this? I reached out. The Holy Grail. Faint oh my God! My fingers began to smile brightly and spirit me away. Broke it. Alien memories. It kind of exploded. Spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next hmm. thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped. See, I told you, you broke it. With the broken pieces. <laughs> Most supposed to be fragile with magic glowy orbs. Aha! Tinderbox. Thank you. What's that? A book? That is a drawer. Are you hearing me okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why? You weren't responding. <laughs> I wasn't? No. I was opening the dressers. Aha. Yes, you were. Now there's lot there's rocks over here that I collapsed. Um papers all over this thing. I think we got what we got what we were supposed to get in there. Um getting exploded. Was there an orange flash? Uh no there wasn't. Oh. Floor plans, huh? We like floor plans. Yes. Let's see if we can find them. Whoa. Ooh. Western the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things <laughs> start falling apart. That's not it's a good prize. Anyway. No. Let's do what we can. There the class castle's gonna doors. break. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will keep oh, in on us. Well this you felt an earthquake. Hmm. Here, here. And there. Let's get the servants working on it. Hmm. I'm assuming that was Alexander talking to who Daniel used to be. I wonder if there's going to be like a moral choice system in this game. If we get to like be a different Daniel than who we used to be. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. I hear that piano again. Why is it playing itself? <laughs> eh, I don't like that. It's creepy. It's not playing anymore, but... I heard you. Oh, I heard you. Damn piano. Wait. <laughs> Wait, Hit what? it with a chair. What? The way Did I came the... caved in. Um, that's not a good prize. No, it's not a good prize. That might be why we kind of collapsed. <laughs> the ground broke. Do I have anything to use to bust through this wall? Do you need to bust? Oh. I'm sure that it would be in here then. Ooh, it's rocks. A rock. That ought to be good. So I hope I remember. So. I remember having to... Yep, that seemed to work. There we go. Aha. Um, oh, wait, something's flashing white again. You oh, have to be now smart. I think you've saved. When you activate the first one. You activate the first one? You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start um, over. Do we want to see if you save it? by having you kill yourself through insanity? You never be too I don't know. <laughs> I'll do it at some point, but uh, not right now. Okay, maybe next time we see something that is obviously a save. Indeed. Draft and faint light are coming from behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Hmm. Now he said when you activate the first one, you hear some sort of clicking, and if it stops, you have to start all over again. What does hmm. that mean? I have no clue. Um, maybe it's... Do we want to use some flint? To... or not flint. Tinderbox? 
to light some of these torches and things in here. Ooh, it's a book. Now we need to find another book. Can I push this now? No. Oh, here's one. That's obviously not one. Did the first one go back in now? Yeah. There we go. Doodly do. I need a, a rock. Because, uh, something over here. Haha! -ha. Altstad and the Brennenberg Castle. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Any local, Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are... There are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by the tainted souls by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid rever revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called the gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is, it is their prey what? It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What scheme what dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well known erudite <laughs> erudite visited Aldstadt at the start of the sixteenth century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? and the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and, like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming to the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. We've seen the Black Eagle thing before. Mm -hmm. Like, that one guy promised to serve the Baron. Yeah. To, or not the Baron, the Professor. Well, he, he promised yeah, to serve Alexander, Alexander guy. yeah. Right, who we're assuming is the Professor. Right. Since you helped Ooh. the Professor and you helped this Alexander guy. What? Ooh, it's the wine cellar key. Yes. Something happened after I picked it up. Ooh, another note. Ooh. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm, Wilhelm, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of, of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be closed off when, until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot in there for all I care. 
Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Um, apparently the wine is poisoned? Apparently. And I don't know if that was suggesting that he locked them in the wine cellar. He apparently did lock them in the wine cellar. <laughs> you can't tell if he was just like locking the wine cellar so they couldn't get into the stuff there, or if he actually like. Ugh, I ran out of oil again. It's easy to run out of oil. Why don't you just go on and use like three or four of them and almost fill it, fill it up? I mean. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll light this just so there's light in the hallway. Didn't I light all these before? Whatever, let's make our way back to the wine cellar. That door won't open, apparently. Old tomes. I can't go back that way? Something is... That was the door that was already shut. It was the thing that collapsed. Oh, God! What was that? One of the gatherers, it looked like. I don't like that. <laughs> it was monster. Um... I don't want to go that way now. <laughs> Peek around the corner. Peeking is good. Is he there? No. <sighs> it's still there, I can hear it. Peek around this corner. Oh god. I think it's inside that door. The one that's off its hinges. God, that's... <laughs> the statues were praying, gazing into the dark domed ceiling. Hmm. Jeez. Is it in oh god. Is there a monster? No, but the hallway got covered in this fleshy stuff. It actually oh hurt me. Oh dear. All is good. Apparently my insanity is higher now. Not good. Let's make our way down to the wine cellar door. There's dust coming from that direction. That's probably a bad thing. And next time we'll proceed into the wine cellar. Till mm. then, we'll see you then. See ya. Take care.